education, education, education. Education is key. We need to educate young people as well as their carers and their parents. Children are the experts in that they've grown up with the internet. They don't need to be taught anymore in the sense it's parents and professionals that need to be aware of what's out there and not be in denial of what, what children can access. Us as adults take responsibility for talking about things like pornography by explaining what that means and helping them to understand that that doesn't represent a healthy sexual relationship. Again, I think it's all around communication and, and, and I don't want to put all of the focus on parents. It's very easy to think that that parents are the only people responsible for the health and well-being of children, and that's abundantly uh, not true. Everybody, pediatricians, teachers, people that work in these serving organizations, either staff or volunteers, everybody, every adult is responsible for children having, you know, just very, very balanced um, discussions with children from a very early age. We need to be getting in there at the earliest opportunity with children and young people, uh, really from the age of uh, five upwards in schools, uh, needed embedded within the school curriculum, uh, within sex and relationships education and with personal social and health education as well. Definitely education about the brain's reward system. Kids aren't primed to learn about sex and love at that age, but if we're not giving them proper sex and love relationship education, then they're going to learn about it from the internet, from internet porn, and that's not the best way. Uh, we need to ensure that teachers in particular and other professionals have uh, feel confident about addressing the issues, that parents have the right information, and that children can become, at the earliest opportunity, critical consumers, I think, really. So using clear language, you know, penis and vagina should be words we're not worried about using with, with kids, conveying very, very clearly what are the rules and expectations, whether it's in our family, in our school, in our religious institution, in, in our community. Sharing uh, risks, behavior, uh, sharing information with them. We need to make them um, more able and more savvy in kind of technology and how to protect themselves and also um, to be aware of what's within and outside the law. You know, what is legal and what is illegal? And because of this sense of huge anonymity, they think, oh, nobody will catch me, or I'm not doing anything wrong. So I think it's important that we start actually engaging with what's legal, what's not legal. It's about making sure they're safe online in all sorts of environments, at all sorts of ages, ensuring that they're equipped to deal with all sorts of scenarios, bullying, um, dealing with sexual demands perhaps as they get older, as well as not being involved in any other sort of criminality or even becoming perpetrators themselves. Give them the tools to properly protect themselves and the only way we can do that is properly educate. Education. Education. Education is key.